Okay, that was slightly gross. And let me tip my phone down a little bit because my last video I felt like you were looking at my nose half the time. All right. <laughs> And that seems a little misty looking, which means, okay, I think I look a bit clearer there. <laughs> I'm Amy, I'm living in Chrysalis, and I am redoing my look from my most roasted video. Let's get to it. No intro music, no card, no nothing, because this is live. And nobody's here yet, but that's okay. I'm here. Frida K. All right, good. My mod is here. Excellent. So far, it's just us, but I'm hopeful. Sup. Sup is I got another comment. Hey, Yana Beauty, on a video I did nine months ago nine months ago, if you, you may have seen in the thumbnail. I just got another critical comment on it today. And I, I had one before, which I thought was so hilarious, I pinned it. But, you know, within the kind of nasty tones of these, I did see some critiques that might be worth, might be worth paying attention to. If nothing else, for content. <laughs> It's like, hello. Um, so uh, I'm trying to get to, here we go. Let me get to the inbox because I want to read it to you. Opportunities for growth. Exactly. Growth and improvement. That's what I'm looking for. So my goal today is to redo this look. is to redo this look and see if I can do it better. Okay, so the comment I got today, approximately three hours ago, oh, and don't, you know, don't go into my comment section and go looking for people, you know, none of that. And it's kind of sad that I have to actually say this. Yeah, not beauty plus ketchup fun. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so the one I got today was, please check the color wheel your choices are crashing. I assume she meant clashing, which, Truthfully, that was an artistic choice, but what the heck. Okay, so then on this other one, and this is a comment I got five months ago. This says, holy crap, you do not know how to apply eyeshadow. Looks horrible. A four-year-old could have applied it better. Start with a lighter transition shade, then, gener then gradually go darker and blend. So I think I'm going to do two different, you know, two different things with my eyes, mostly because I want to see if, um, <laughs> I want to see how the critiques from both of these comments go. Hey, Queen of Hearts, I don't know why my text keeps fading. You know what? Why am I doing this? Why don't I just go and check this out? We, we've got this old phone that's not hooked up to anything. So let me go into my own live. Can I do that? I should be able to. I mean, other people do it, right? My channel. <laughs> Let me see if I can do this. Okay. It says I'm live. Can I see the comments here? Yes, I see the chat. I don't have to do this anymore. Okay. So let's see. Do we still have Yana yeah, Beauty here? We have uh, the Queen of Hearts. Is that a troll comment? Probably, but I'm, uh, you know what? I'm going to have some fun with it anyway. Did I just accidentally, I just accidentally left my own danger. <laughs> Let me try this again. Dump out, dump in. Okay. I don't want to spend the whole time staring at this phone, but this will be helpful so I don't have to do scrolling like this and wave my fingers in everybody's faces. Okay. So <laughs> there's a little bit of a lag there. I just saw myself doing it out of the corner of my eye. All right, so for that video, I was using the Magnify's Thunderstorm Edition by Rimmel London. And the thing I liked about this is it took all of the best colors out of the Kylie Cosmetics um, Stormy collection. So that made me happy, and I liked the yellow. <laughs> so I'm going to, the first eye I'm going to 
repeat the look that I did there, but try to do better. And then the second look, I'm going to do something a little different. Okay, so, all right, first foundation, just to give it a chance. Oh, whoops, from She Who Shall Not Be Named. <laughs> it's kind of funny to see the, the lag here. It reminds me of when I was engineering sports broadcasts for radio. Because, yes, that's something I did. And there, there were times, especially on, uh, especially when the game was going out on television, so I could actually watch the game, like on Fox Sports or something, and I'd be engineering it at the same time. So <laughs> the way it worked was I would hear what happened, and then I would see it because of the, you know, because of the way all the, uh, all the transmissions work. So I would say to the sportscaster, you're magic. You predict the future. It's only two seconds into the future, but still. So I'm not sure how that worked out for people who, for people, for instance, if they had the, the TV on and the radio on, I'm not sure how that would work for them because even with the actual game, we had a seven second delay, of course. Thank you, Frida. Frida says the thing about clashing is she feels a well-designed palette has everything to go with everything. Yana Beauty says, but even if it did clash, nothing good was ever created by following the rules. <laughs> Queen of Hearts says people all of a sudden grow balls online when they wouldn't dare in person. Hashtag facts. Lyra Makeup Geek just left SG Glomus video. Mwah. Thank you. Yes, I, I watched Smokey Glow's Glomus video too. And I did that tag on Wednesday night. So that, that video is, is up. I did it live so that we could discuss it. And there's a, there's a new tag. I just saw Teresa is dead do that I'm planning on also doing live. So hopefully you can catch that. Um, okay. But yeah, why... Yeah, not beauty. Ouch. I don't understand why people have to be nasty and can't just find a nicer way to give advice if they want to help. So, yeah. Yeah, you should definitely check out Teresa's video. She's Teresa. And I did I did watch and subscribe to the channel that um, that she got the tag from. It's called Vicky Vlogs. So you, you'll see you'll see that in her description. OK, but you know what? Just for fun, let's go ahead and and actually respond to the trolls in a constructive manner. Okay, now with the first look, um, I did not use a, sh a setting shade, a shedding shade. What's going on with me? Right, eye primer. Let's try to give, let's give the look a chance, shall we? Okay. So the one commenter, and this was the first commenter, the one that commented what four or five months ago, didn't like me, but didn't like the way I didn't blend. Um, so I'm going to actually use a setting shade this time, which I did not do then. So let's see, but I'm going to stick with the same colors on this eye. Okay, setting shade. Now, the last time I did notice that when I, because I used the blue for the outer, but the, and then I used the, the purple here, but it, it felt like the blue was brighter than the purple. So as I'm, but it's still darker. So, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing, but just try to blend better. I was thinking, oh, maybe I should reverse those, but you know what? I'm going to do the exact same look, but I'm going to follow this person's advice and just see, just for fun. Just for fun. All right, so she said go in with the transition shade. Of course, what they don't know is, or didn't seem to realize is I had hooded eyes, so transition shades are not really a thing. 
but I'm going to assume she meant the purple because that's what I did. That's what I had there, so I'm going to go in with the purple. It's going to be kind of fu funny to remember not to just switch over to the other eye and do the, the exact same thing. That's just this nice darky, dark purple. Oh, let me check my, let me check the comments. I don't see them popping up here at all anymore. Oh, hey girl, right? Is there scrolling? I don't understand what's happening here. Happy Friday for everyone in the chat, says Queen of Hearts. Hi, Kaylee. Okay, so the idea of a setting shade is you, is you, um, you put a shade down that's similar to your skin color just to dry up any oil, any foundation, any, um, any primer. And then it's supposed to help eyeshadow blend better once you, you know, once you put on your colors. So this is me putting on the purple. And yes, thank you. Thank you for asking for the explanation. I guess I forget because I'm so used to dealing with other beauty people. So, and, and Yana Beauty, it's Saturday for her, but it's Friday for me. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see. How is that different from using the same powder you put on the rest of your face? I'm not entirely sure. I'm really not. I mean, it's for so long, even primers were just not a part of my life. <laughs> Beauty people have a lot of terms I haven't gotten definitions of. Yes. Okay. So a setting shade is a skin tone colored shade that you use just as a base to help you blend your eyeshadow. So it's powder on powder instead of powder on primer or powder on foundation or primer or powder on skin. Oh, that's an, that's annoying. I hit myself there. I'll have to uh, fix that. Yana Beauty. Have a good Friday, Queen of Hearts and everyone else. You're not leaving us, I hope. Okay, let me set that down. I need my hands. I need more hands. Okay, great explanation, Yana Beauty, because putting a lighter shade on to set concealer... You cannot see any patchiness, so when you add darker shade over it, it should blend better without patchiness. Lyra Makeup Geek. That's why I always do my foundation and powder all over, even on my eyes. I feel it holds longer without creasing. However, most palettes have too much fallout to do that. That is a problem, and that's a, been a big that's been a big part of the reason why I don't own any Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes because every time I went to test one, I just made a complete mess on my face. Rosalind Gray, 212 AM. So you joined us. Thank you. I'm impressed. 212. All right. Um, okay, so I've got my Rasmine's edited photos. Hello to you too. Oh, and if you guys haven't already, be the difference coming. Oh, I think they're gonna do all right. I'm so happy. So make sure you guys check each other out. All right, so now I'm gonna go in to my outer corner and put on the blue that I did in that last video. Let's see how that goes. And I'm, and with this brush, I just tap to pick up the, the kick up because your girl is cheap. Okay. Rasmine's edited photos. I have a lot to learn from these makeup tutorials, but still more to learn. Don't we all? Oh, I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm better at doing eyeshadow than I was nine months ago, but <laughs> let's see. Who knows? In nine months, hopefully I'll be better than I am today, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so, huh, that's, that's rather powdery, isn't it? Whoa, and I've got some fallout on my face. Let me find my, where's my fan brush? Ah. But yes, everybody do check each other out. Okay, let me kind of swipe it off my face. Not that I'm going anywhere, because I'm not. But, oh, just for looksies. <laughs> Good day, Rosmin. Excellent from Yana. 
Oh, Queen of Hearts is wrapping gifts. Wow, I haven't even been able to shop yet. My car's in the shop. And so I've just been home. It's not like I'm gonna walk anywhere. Cool dude, Jaden saw. Hi, hi Jaden, nice to meet you. Okay, now for the next shade. Push your light back a bit, it keeps blowing you out. Uh, I can't. It's literally my my makeup mirror. <laughs> uh, unless, well, hang on, here we go. See, see my problem? <laughs> because my husband has not found the other curtain. <laughs> but okay, for you guys, I'll do this. It looks a little janky, but what the hell. Is that better, Frida? Oh, you're gonna vlog your baby girl's first birthday. Oh, we'll have to check out Queen of Hearts vlog video tomorrow. So I'm going back in with the yellow because I like yellow. I don't feel like I put enough of it on that last video. So I'm really gonna pile it on this time. Okay, here we go. I, I don't have the technical capability to do the side by side, you know, where you can see, watch my old video and the new one. Frida K says, you'll just glow. I'm assuming she means the queen of hearts. Or do you, or do you mean for the yellow? Yes, I'll be a uh, nuclear. It's so exciting, little babies. They're so fun. Okay, so here's where we are with that. Hmm, still a little patchy, which is kind of annoying because this is one of the better rated pa palettes from this, from these lines. I dig yellow too. Frida says she digs yellow. I do too, but I can't wear it as clothes because it looks like, it looks like ass on me. But it's just not not good. It makes me look ill. Be the difference clothing. Holla, Amy, living in Chris listen all in the chat. Hi, be the difference clothing. Hey, Candy Dreams, hello. Everybody make sure you check each other out. Thank you for sending her over, Candy. So yes, I got some rather one could consider them troll comments or nasty comments, but the, within the nastiness, there was actual critique. So I decided to follow the critiques and see if within the nastiness, there was actually something valuable I could take away from it. <laughs> oh, awesome. Yes, Frida. Definitely pick, pick everybody up. And for everybody who doesn't know, Frida K is my sister. Um, and she, her channel is about life, living with chronic illness and how to um, cope. All right. So then with my, hang on, hang on, hang on. I gotta clean this from this. Rasmine, YouTube has definitely ha helped me capture more moments and take more pictures. So thankful to have joined this platform with so many amazing creators. <laughs> You're so, free to sick ass. Oh, thank you, Lyra, for trying to subscribe to people as well. We definitely want to, you know, expand the beauty community in a good and supportive way. Because unfortunately, you know, a, a lot, of, a lot of attention comes from drama and people not getting along, and so the rest of us are just kind of plugging away, being you know decent people to each other. So that's okay. The time for decency is arising. All right, I'm gonna go back in with this very light, light, light gold shade, which is what I used when I went too far in on this purple shade when I did the previous video. So I'm gonna go ahead and be pretty liberal with it. Hey, <laughs> liberal. Small niche communities is where it's at, yes. Oh, Queen of Hearts. Oh, she'll be stopping by to everyone after the stream. Excellent. I'm so happy for that. 
So yes, definitely if you're not subscribed to me, I would certainly welcome it and definitely check each other out because I want us to grow as a community of decent, decent people. Okay, now for the arch, I'm gonna go into this pinky shade, which is what I did in that video I got critiqued on. Trolled on, critiqued on, whatever, but what the heck. One doesn't want to give trolls too much attention. However, let's be honest, sometimes they have things to say that might actually be helpful. Okay, so here's where I'm at in that. And I feel like I need a little more purple to blend there. I feel like there's a little bit of a, an issue there. A year and a half. That's like halfway through my channel, or nine months is halfway through my channel life because I've I've been on YouTube for a year and a half. So, you know, nine months is about halfway through. So let's see if okay w with this palette. Yes, I would say that the criticism of of um not using a setting shade on this was valid. Okay. All right, so the troll had a point. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this a little bit. Just sort of an overall blend. Try not to do too much because I don't want it to get muddy. <laughs> I know, I'm so looking forward to seeing the baby birthday too. Rasmine's edited photos is really looking forward to see that. Um, Frida K says, I see you don't do the fluffy brush tiny circles to blend that she keeps seeing big names do. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't know if I may try that technique at some point, but uh, I keep, I'm more of a big sweeps blender. Yes, I am. I, and I don't know if it's just because I don't have, you know, the only way I can really get in super duper close is to actually physically lean in. But that's what I'm looking at. Oh, I feel like I still need a little. I think I feel like some of the blue did blend away there. So, see, that's the problem with blending sometimes. That's true. Not everyone's a professional, but I can understand why some people would feel like they want the YouTuber they're watching to be professional. But we don't all have the same techniques, and we don't all have to. Okay, so. Observation, not judgment. Frida uses sponges for 90% of her face. Yana Beauty says she has deep set and hooded eyes and though she blends with tiny circles, it takes a long time. Yeah, I don't have that kind of patience. Not on the regular anyway. I may play with that technique at some point, but... <sighs> I hate the way tiny circles feels in my eyes. Frida has sensory issues. Um, the Lyra Makeup Geek says the big names use PR $300 plus brushes and advertise them while they do it. Not hating, just stating a fact. Eric Matthews, how's my recovering? I managed to talk my way out of a hard cast, thank goodness, because the last surgery I had when I had a hard cast, I had the absolute worst Charlie horses and I kept getting them and I kept getting them. I only had this cast for four days because I accidentally got water down it. So, um, you know, so since I had got water down it, I had to call the doctor to, you know, take it off and put it in one. I just mentioned in passing about the, about the cramps and they decided to put me in, in an air cast. So then this time around, I said, well, the last time this is what happened. So I'd really rather have an, keep the, you know, have the air cast if I can. So. He said yes, and I said yay. Sorry, I'm trying. I'm trying to sharpen this, and it like I had to push it down, so now I have to sharpen it some more. I think I'm almost done with this eyeliner, because of course we can't really judge a look without the full beat on there, right? Okay. And look, and I just sharpened it, push it down some more. I think this one's about dead. Okay, Let's see how this goes. 
Okay, yeah. All right, let's see how you are now. So watch this, watch this. See that? See that? Look what happened right there. This is the third time that this happened. Candy Dreams has a dope makeup kit I should try? Really? Well, I will look it up, but I'm, uh, I'm broke as broke right now. Well, not so much that I'm broke, but I have to save my money for holiday travel because I'm going to go see my family of origin and their and all of their spouses and kids and hangers on and it'll be great because I haven't been in a couple of years. So, okay, here I'll do the eyeliner real quick. Same, Lyra says, I was saving one of those brush sets, but they aren't usually cruelty free. She is real techniques and BH. I have, um, I should model the cast live. Well, it's a little hard right now. I will have to do that another time. But, um, I want to have someone to actually take a picture or something. <laughs> Hangers on. You know, else? Spouses, kids, like, well, one of them is my best friend from college who we've all basically adopted as a brother. So, like, he and his girlfriend and their kids will be here. Um, am I staying with Frida or the fart monster? Probably dad. Um, let's see. Yeah, 300 bucks for a brush. Oh, yeah, it happens. I, I follow um, Fude Japan on Instagram, and he's, for those who don't know, he's a buyer. So, for instance, if you want something from that's exclusive to Japan that you cannot get in your country, you can DM with Fude Japan, and he will, like, get it for you and ship it to you. Obviously, you pay for it, but, you know, it's a service, which I think is really awesome. And I am hoping <laughs> at some point to be able to actually utilize his service. Even Tara Babies was talking about him in her uh, in her magnum opus, <laughs> that hour and a half collection video, which is funny. I've been talking about her so much in my lives because I almost never watch her. Oh, you have. Oh, Frida has a guest room set up. Yeah. Okay. We'll sort it out later. Hi, weird color guy. How you doing? Frida, this isn't cable guy, so you don't have to, you know, you don't have to block them. <laughs> block them. We had a we had a dirty troll last time. <laughs> yeah, he uh, he he tried he tried to troll his bait in the piranha tank. It was really hilarious. Do you put light in the tear duct ever? Sometimes I do. Sometimes I do. Like I kind of put it I kind of put it on this time, but it doesn't really show. Probably because I didn't do concealer first there. Where did I get this headband? I have, I think it's just like just a regular goodie one or something. But yeah, I like the way how it kind of holds the hair back. Let me try doing concealer in that corner and then hitting it with the pale color again to see if I can make that work. <laughs> Lyra says she, it gives her anxiety to watch that much makeup. You know, a lot of times, Lyra, um, some of those big collection videos do it to me too, but Terra Babies is just so organized. I mean, it, it, it's just so incredibly organized, and she knows what she knows what everything is. I mean, it's she's like sort of like the modern, you know, the the curator of modern cosmetic history. <laughs> Okay, all right, weird color guy. Well, you may be dirty and a troll. You are not our dirty troll, so we don't have to boot you net. You'll have to earn being booted. <laughs> Hardly ever are you both at the same time, and we appreciate that because yeah, it was that was hilarious. But yes, <laughs> he claimed his bait was larger than we than the rest of us suspect it is, and I'll just leave it at that. Because I'm trying to be a lady and failing miserably. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
So I'm gonna go back in with that pale gold color and try to make it show up in the tear duct. There we go. That was the problem. I hadn't put on the concealer first. Hi, Janine, how are you? Okay, so there we go. I don't know, can you guys see that? It, it's showing now. Yeah, sometimes I do the, the light in the tear duct. A lot of times I don't, mostly because I'm kind of trying to draw attention away from how big my nose is. So I, I tend to focus my eye makeup more out here because when I put a lot in, like you see a lot of YouTubers do, they'll put a lot of eyeshadow even like right in here. But when I do that, I feel like it makes my nose look bigger. Okay, all right, people are greeting each other, awesome. Hey, make sure you check out each other's channels. I know I've said that before. I know, I get. I usually get a good wing on this eye and then the other eye's wing is just all jacked up. That's usually how it works. Lusting for that red lipstick <laughs> from Lancome. I I really, really want to see the, um, the Monsieur Big eyeshadow palette, the one in the big heart. Um, I have been looking for that in stores for months. My Ulta has the whole display set up and it's not there. Uh, they just never got it. Like what the holy heckin' is going on? <laughs> Jenny's riveting. Oh, you're cute. It was bigger. Um, I had a, I lived with, when I lived with my parents, I was allergic to everything in their house. And mm -hmm. then also since I've had a septoplasty. So I feel like, you know, I still have that kind of like, oh my God, my nose is big. Okay. All right. What just happened? Okay. And see, it died, not because it was out of battery, but because it's defective. So now I have to go back and do the, the scrolling thing again. I can't find it online. I, I could. I was thinking of ordering it from Ulta, but it was out of stock you know, for this last sale. And I'm rather upset by this. Very upset because I've, you know, I've been wanting to see it before I buy it. But if I can't, I can't. But it's kind of had my name. It's on sale at Sephora. Alice in the Rabbit Hole did a review and she said it's great. Oh, I missed that video then. Thanks, Lyra. Because uh, Alice is my girl. I mean, she's really my girl. Like she, she sent me, she sent me presents even. She's so awesome. Okay, I'm just gonna throw a little mascara on to complete this eye. All right. And now I'm not, I'm not doing lashes. I. Uh, I've never tried fake eyelashes yet, but I have some and I'm going to do a video trying them, but I'm gonna do that as a standalone video. I don't think I'm gonna do it as a live. Oh, you heard the, the, the palette formula on the Sleeping Beauty palette was awful. I'm so sorry. Oh, that sucks. I'm surprised it's not just similar to the formula on the other. Um, oh no, that's Besame, right? You struggle with Besame. Frida says she struggled with Besame. She wants to love them so hard. Yeah, I know. Oh, I know. The only Besame thing I have right now is the Agent Carter powder, like the the dusting powder, or not the dusting powder, but the well, you know, the touch-up powder. I'm thinking storybook. Yes, you're right. Um. But the, those, those powder compacts were originally $35. I got mine on clearance for $10. When it arrived, the compact is plastic. Now, for $10, I'm happy. For $35, I would have been pissed. No. I mean, come on. Becca had is, you know, Becca powders and blushes are 38 bucks and they have that really heavy flying saucer thing. Okay. Oh, hang on. What did you, yeah, now beauty says beauty news reviewed it. They think they spent more effort in perfecting the color. So they were a true representation of the movie and didn't pay enough attention to the formula. That's sad. Okay. I didn't, I haven't watched beauty news in a while. 
Frida K says that Besame lipstick doesn't stick to her butthole. <laughs> I assume she means the inner lip area. Oh, Lou is live too. Well, tell her hello for me. I'll have to see her later because, you know, because I'm live. <laughs> I'm in her lives enough anyway. <laughs> uh, she finally subscribed to me. Yes. Okay. Before I get into the responding to the criticisms um, of the most recent comment, I am going to mention that in my last live when I unboxed this and I, I did make a comment about the, um, the fill level. This is with me using it once um, during that video. I haven't used it since. But um, I did email Gerard Cosmetics and her team got right back to me and they are mailing out a mini to make up for the fluid I lost. So, yay. That is how you handle customer service and complaints. Easy peasy, no problems, no nothing. So I'm very excited to get my mini because it'll be great for my holiday travel. Yeah, it doesn't, right? So, but you know, I, I took a screenshot of the video and I just, you know, sent it right to them. I'm like, is this your typical fill level? And she said, uh, yeah, we'll send you a mini. So that's on its way. So I won't have to carry a big bottle of setting spray. <laughs> on my trip. Okay. So responding to the first criticism from nine months ago. Yeah, they had a point. <laughs> yes, an excellent service from Gerard Cosmetics. I'm very happy with that. Truthfully, I kind of wish they'd asked first only because I would have liked to have tried a different scent, but I have nothing to complain about. <laughs> I bought Jasmine. They're sending me Jasmine. <laughs> no worries. Okay. So I've already got the primer potion on. And yes, we can take criticism. So I'm going to go ahead and use the setting shade again because that seems to work well for this palette. For some palettes, I don't even need a setting shade. And for some looks... I don't necessarily care to have them very blended together. It just kind of depends on what I'm doing, but, but noted. <laughs> Maybe I'll do a new response to that comment and drop a, drop a link to this video in there. Good morning, foreign experience. How are you? It's nighttime for us. You're, are you still in, you're in what China, right? Hi, Janine. <laughs> Perky Perkins, I just saw you. Hi, Perky, how are you? Oh my God, I have 11 people in here. I'm so excited. I'm in double digits, yay. And I just hit, and I just hit 1,200 subscribers today too. So I'm super, yeah, you know, I look terrible in, in yellow clothing, but I'm really starting to love yellow eyeshadow. I'm almost rethinking my decision not to get the uh -huh honey, but it's okay. I have the ColourPop one, but it's okay. I, I think I have enough ye yellow. I'm good. All right, I'll throw in a little more. So I'm ready to, ready to blend. Hopefully not ready to glare. She has her own channel. Oh yes, and of course, if uh, since we have some new people in, check out each other's channels, please. We would like to grow. And I want everybody to grow, and yes, I know you can see the, usually I'm zoomed in closer so that you can't see this mess because my husband lost the other curtain. But every time I went to buy new curtains, he said, we don't need new curtains, we have curtains. I'm like, okay, well then where is it? So he's driving me nuts. Okay. All right, so the second criticism was about the color wheel. That person didn't seem to enjoy that I used like yellow and blue and purple together. So I am going to use green and brown this time, but I'll use, I think I'll use yellow too. How do you lose a curtain? Your husband puts it in the basement. That's what happens. Your husband puts it in the basement and then you never see it again. Like the, the ba our basement is like the land of the left socks of the ballpoint pens. <laughs> yeah, he, he gets frustrated. He gets, he gets frustrated and he, um, 
you know, if, if, if things don't look neat or I've got things around, he'll just like take stuff and put it in the basement and then I'll never see it again. Tell them to go look at a flower garden. All the colors go together. I know, right? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I was thinking about maybe doing that. It would involve some, it might involve some sewing, but I can sew. I just haven't done it yet. Yeah, I would definitely have to sew because I'd have to make a new hem there. <laughs> okay. So yeah, this time I'm going to go in a different direction to answer those criticisms. Not that I think those are as valid necessarily, but what the heck? The comments there and so let's have a little fun with it. Okay, so this time my transition shade is going to be the green. I mean, yes, overall Jay's a good husband. I haven't felt the need to kill him yet and it's been, ten, you know, we've been married 10 years and together more. Together for 12, I think. So yes, I haven't felt <laughs> you always throw your, your wife's things away. <laughs> okay. So here we go. This, this I am, I'll stick with colors that would appear to go together. <laughs> the resign sign is you admit he isn't horrible. <laughs> no. Now he knows I still stupid love him. It's Lori's life. Hi, welcome to the chat. Make sure you check everybody out. This is the um, Rimmel London Magnifies Thunderstorm palette. The thing about this palette is they basically took all of the best colors from the Kylie Cosmetics um, Stormy collection and put them all in one palette, which I definitely appreciate as a cheap ass. So I'm going to go ahead and use the brown on the outer. And so it's Lori's life. I got a couple of um, kind of nasty troll type comments on the video I did with this palette nine months ago. So I've decided to look at the comments and try their suggestions. This eye was me redoing it with the techniques that the... Um, using at least some of the techniques that the uh, word that the commenter used or said, you know, mentioned. And as far as the setting shade, okay, granted, for this palette, it does work a lot better with the setting shade. This eye, I'm doing a look with my most recent commenter on this vid, on the original video, who didn't like the color combination, made a crack about me not knowing what a color wheel was. So, or something along those lines. And excellent, there's people here. Let me make sure I didn't miss any, like, okay. Oh, yes, Perky, these brushes. I love these brushes, especially because I have hooded eyes and I don't, and I don't have patience. I like to use these for, for this one for a sweep. I use this one for a stamp and feather. So, and um, I use this one for like setting shades. Okay, so this is my stamp and feather brush. And especially because I have a spot right in this area, right here that on both sides, it just never wants to take pigment. TJ Maxx, this is a set of three brushes Ellen Tracy, Tracy brand, TJ Maxx, five bucks, five dollars. And yeah, online people can be pretty rude. Thank you, Lori. So yeah, I mean, I like this color combination. You know, I, and I did tell that com that commenter it was an artistic choice, but you know what? I thought, why not? Why not just try something a little more conventional for this eye, for the giggles, for the content. <laughs> oh, that stinks. Yeah, when, you know, when I'm up and about, I mean, I was at TJ Maxx like three or four times a week. You got to kind of stock it because they'll, they'll get good stuff in and then it'll go and it'll get all torn up. So like I would go there a lot, but it's 15 minutes from my house. So, and especially at my house, 
because I live right across the street from from um, from like a art center you know, where they do like dance lessons and music lessons and a bunch of stuff like that. I live right across the street from there, which means and I have on street parking. So when you know when I get out of work at six and try to come home and try to park, it's a real pain in the butt. So half the time I just you know go to TJ Maxx and go wander around and just man you know, amuse myself. Okay, so I am going to see what am I going to do here. I'm going to do things. I'm going to do something. I don't know what yet. I know what I'm going to do. Because this green shimmer is close in tone to, to this uh, green matte. Not totally, but I think they very much go together. So, to, so I'm going to go ahead and use that here bring this through oh oh you you swatch at tj maxx i almost never do my my tj maxx they watch out for that like a hawk oh okay perky um do upload your video i'm looking forward to seeing it as i think the rest of us are too uh i know isn't that green pretty I mean, this really is a pretty palette. It's a shame I haven't worn it in a while, but, you know, I only have one face, and I keep... Yeah, I don't swatch. Everyone's, you know... They... For swatch fests, I go to um, to Ulta and to, and to um, Sephora. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll actually find something I want at TJ Maxx that I know is still in stores, and then... Um, and if I know it's still in the other stores, I will put it on hold because mine will do that. They'll do like a 24, you know, a, a one day hold for you. And then I will go to like Sephora Alter and I'll swatch the thing I'm looking at and decide if I want it or not. <laughs> like I like I did that with the um, with the Anastasia Beverly Hills blush palettes, you know, those blush trios. I have two of them. And I swatched them at Ulta before I bought them from TJ Maxx. Oh, very nice, Rita. Thank you. Also, um, Moda has similar ones, similar brushes in sets at, um, at Walmart, I've seen. So, you know, they, they are out there. Okay, so there's that green. And I'm going to go ahead and leave, leave that darker there. I'll have to blend it a little, though. I'm going to do that blending now, I think. Oh. What are, did I get blue on there? I think I did, dang it. Yes, try to go early. Oh, you were saying try to go early before people have a chance to swatch it, DJ Max. I was going to say, Lori, yeah, that sounds more like it. I didn't see you as a, as a swatcher. Yeah, I, I, didn't th I didn't think you would do that. Okay, so... So I've got the green and the green and the brown. Is that normal enough for that co commenter? Close enough together in the color wheel. Oh, now let's see. I'm still gonna throw yellow on there. Dang it. <laughs> Hi, Granny's Life, Granny's Life Vlog, hello. And thank you so much for the thumbs up. And the reminder, yes, please. Like, subscribe, comment, share. I want to hit this one a little, a little more yellow, too. I'm just really digging this yellow. No. Yana Beauty, I legit watched a woman walk into a store the other day, slap a red lipstick all over her face, and walk out and grunt at everyone who was looking at her in horror. Oh, that's terrible. Jenny said she's been lucky to be there as new stock comes out. Yeah, what will happen in mine is they have this rack and these bins, you know, out to, you know, to stock. So I'll go through those too. They don't care. Yeah, they they know me by now. <laughs> Just like you know, they used to kind of side eye me if I would pop something open. But I'm only opening things to you know to look at the colors. I don't touch them. Yeah, that is nasty. It's like okay, that one's gonna get written. That one's gonna get sent to the bin. I think for blending this eye, I'm gonna go ahead and just use my setting shade brush. I think I need to wash my some brushes, but what else is new? I'm like 
kind of gross in that effect. Okay. So that's with the grains, the grains of brown. What do I want to do for an art shade? Well, really, the only thing that's going to work is this pale goldy color. And I said, going to work, as in not going all over the color wheel. <laughs> Staying within a, a, a little green and yellow, green, yellow, and brown zone. Yeah, no, beauty is like, nope, I'll watch some swatch parties online with people who have similar skin tones. I do that too. But then I, I'll, I'll also, huh, yeah, this is my smudging brush, but I'll go ahead and do it there anyway. It's fine. Um, oh, and again, the inner corner thing. I forgot. I, I have to put concealer on before that'll show because I have hereditary dark circles. Thanks, Mom and Dad. <laughs> I've sometimes I've thought about getting them tattooed. Apparently that's a thing now. You can get the skin under there tattooed so that it doesn't show your dark circle so much. Trying to talk and do makeup is not easy, props. Thanks, Lyra. <laughs> um I've also heard that um, injections under there can help, but I would worry about, you know, puffiness and having a needle so freaking close to my, you know, close to my eyes and under the skin. Do not tattoo. That's dumb. Yeah. You know, it's things that I've thought of doing, but I don't think I actually would because as Frida knows, I have a massive needle phobia. And, and I've had a massive needle phobia since I was a child. It was earned. Okay, so I had a little bicycle accident when I was 10. Filler's a better idea than a tattoo, Jenny. Perhaps. Dr. Brandt needles no more works. I saw a video about lip coloring tattoo. That's from Frida. Yeah, I've heard of lip color tattoo. Jenny has deep set eyes with dark circles. Ugh. The struggle is real, yo. It is real. Okay, let me go back into that color and see if I can make that work now. Because she is pretty. I mean, this this is a very pale, pale, pale gold. See, she pretty. Can, can, can we see? I don't know. I know you're... I see the problem with the lights, Frida. Just making do with what I have because... <laughs> I don't have room for a studio anyway. It's like, as long as I can build my studio around my, around this end of my dining room. And I, I was kind of tempted to set up on my other, the other end because it has the, the white wall. But um, my husband walks through there and you know, people walk through there and wearing underwear and that's just a no. Okay, let me go back into this. Um, has anyone tried the City Lines, City Lips, and whatnot? I have not. I did look at those. Jenny said she was just taking photos and, oh, my God, the wrinkles. She cares more than anyone else. Yeah. Rasmin. Um, Rasmin's edited photos. I'm learning a lot of sponges to blend under the eye. Right now, trying to blend with a brush and all the tiny lines and the dark circles. Um, okay, so let's hit that there for that inner light to me to have some harmony between the two looks and I will do the things on this eye too oh foreign oh is foreign experience still here I don't see anything on my screen now so I can't tell if he's still here or not Okay, so we've got <laughs> Let's take a look, shall we? Well, first let me do my mascara. I think this one's about out. I'll probably bring a new one when I travel. Thank you, Lori. Janine says she's got lines under the eyes and hooded lids in baby photos. <laughs> totally given up, yeah. 
I do have an eyelash curler. I have a couple actually. I always forget them. Setting spray. Lyra says setting spray on the sponge works good after you've set your concealer if it's dry. Good to know. Um, Rasmin's edited photo says, uh, I have to say you look like a professional putting on the eyeliner. Well, thank you, lovely. Yeah, I do have, where is my wet lash curler? I could do my, well, I could curl my lashes. I do it so seldom. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll bring one when I come, Frida, so she can try using a lash curler. This is my Tarte one. I have a TJ Maxx one in the bathroom for my supposed get ready at the sink kit. I have my filming, I have my filming set up with, with a kit here. I've got um, some stuff in the, in the medicine cabinet. That's my, you know, get ready fast in front of the sink kit. And then I have a dressing table set up in my closet that's you know like my makeup storage like i get my clothes from my closet i get my makeup from my closet <laughs> I, I can sit up there but right now i don't because i film here anyway so and a lot of a lot of my videos are i, I film them in the morning as i'm getting ready for work because that's when i have time sort of <laughs> okay so that's the curling all right, so here are the two. So I think my assessment is that the 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 first commenter had a point as far as um, blending and using a setting shade. I'd say the second commenter was full of doo doo, but I still like this look anyway. You know, with the greens and the browns, it's much more subtle. You know, it's more subtle. It's it actually looks really good with my eye color, I, I have to say. Because I've got a... Dang it. Lyra likes the first eye better. I mean, so do I. I like them both. Rasmin has blonde eyelashes. <laughs> the second commenter is just boring. Yes. Yes. So, fooey on Yui. The first commenter, okay. I can I can take I can take some I can take some criticism. Janine's considered eyelash dyeing. Hers are so pale. Ooh. I'd say if you do it, go to a professional. At least, you know, at least for a while until you until you're confident enough if you want to try it yourself. I'd be extremely careful. Thank you, darling. Which which eye do you like better, the green or the blue? Frida says eyelash tint is worth it. Do you do it? I didn't think you were that blonde. You know, Lyra Makeup Geek says she knows people who've done the tint and lift and they were happy, but go to a professional. Yeah, I'd like to do the eyelash lift. I think that would be great, especially with my hooded eye. So the first eye, Rasmin likes both. Mary likes the first eye. Um, Frida likes the first eye, okay. So your left, so yeah, that's this one, that's my right. Um, oh, your friend tints. Yeah, I I think I think this this looks more fun. I think it's um yeah, I think you get more bang out of it. This one's more subtle, yes. Like I like it, I would wear it, but but yeah. This one's more fun. <laughs> so, <laughs> to that person. <laughs> okay, so let's see. And we, the darker shading is more dramatic. Yeah. And especially with my coloring, I know the lights are really shining on my hair, but my hair is actually fairly dark. <laughs> Janine says it has more shape. Yano's laughing at me as is Frida, which is, you know, this, this is makeup and comedy, not just makeup. Cameras lie too. Hard for us to know what it looks like in real life. Jenny's riveted. Yeah, that's true. Like the first is like a date night and the other is going to work. Yeah. Smoky and sultry from Yana Beauty. Yeah. So, yeah. 
you know, I'd say both of these looks I would like. Both of these looks I would wear. Um, yeah. So first commenter, yes, even though they were dick about it. And second commenter, no. Not because it isn't a good look, but because you're boring. Okay. So let's see. As far as more improvements go. Oh, 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 oh. I know what I wanted to tell you all. So I've started walking around the house in my cast without my crutches. Yay! <laughs> uh, so I'm really happy about that. Oh, let's see. Janine says I should do a day to night look. Take a day look and ramp it up. Yes, I will do a video with that. Um, Rasmin says she likes the first dive better after all. Be the difference. Loves it. Yay. So, um, and the first day or two, I kind of felt like, oh, what was that like goat man that, um, what is his name? He's a, he, he played, he plays the newer version of Professor X. What is his name? The Scottish guy, little kid dude with kind of a big nose. Well, anyway, when that character that he played in, um, in the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, you know, the little, little goat guy. I felt like I was walking like a like a goat person. <laughs> the first, I know I'm having such a brain fart. I know these names. They're in there and they're just not coming out. James McAvoy. James McAvoy, thank you. The boy comes to the rescue. <laughs> James McAvoy. Yeah, so that that uh, that character he plays, you know, where he's you know walking on the goat legs. That's kind of how I felt that my, how I was walking my right leg, like it was making my knee sore because of the way I had to walk. But yesterday and today, I didn't have to do that at all. Yes, that's James McAvoy. Um, I, I'm walking with a much more normal stride. I'm walking faster. I'm experiencing less pain in my foot. So yeah, I'm very optimistic about this. Um, so I, I really want to get this foot healed up as soon as possible so I can ha get the other foot fixed and be done with it and then start getting the exercise. Lion, Janine says the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe was his first major role. Oh, I did not know that. Yes, I am moving around some, not too much, but I've actually been able to do a little bit of, a little bit of housework. You know, not much, just like, you know, <laughs> it, but it's been nice to have the use of my hands again. Tom, Tomness, Mr. Tomness. Thank you, Frida. Mr. Tomness, I knew it. Dang it. Ding, 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 diddly dang. <laughs> I had no idea that was his first major role. <laughs> oh, gosh, what was that movie where he played the guy with the multiple personalities? I just saw that fairly recently. Um, God, it's driving me crazy, but oh my gosh, he morphed. It was seriously amazing to watch that performance. Oh yeah, I got this last year, like around holiday time. Isn't that pretty? Split, yes, split. I don't know what is with me in the dang brain farts today. That's where all I do is sleep and do YouTube stuff. <laughs> I haven't seen that one yet. Oh my gosh, it's it's crazy. He He morphs. Oh, and my left knee just popped. It was in something with Angelina Jolie that Frida liked. I don't know what. Wanted. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I've definitely become a James McAvoy fan, although you know, not like in a lusty way. You know, not like not like Chris Evans, where I'm like, yeah, that's my boyfriend. That's my man. Sadly, no. <laughs> But that's okay. I still like my husband. He, he is incredibly skilled, yes. I know, okay. I, <laughs> li I lived in the dorms illegally with my best friend slash now adopted brother. And you know, of course you have those little teeny tiny dorm fridges, but you know, getting cans or small bottles of pop was rather expensive and, you know, broke college students. So I, st I started 
buying buying these because you know cheaper and I got used to room temperature soda and I like it better now so and Chris Evan is um, too skinny now yes so, yeah now now that he's done bulking up for cap yeah he is he is skinny I was I was looking at, I, I was watching the uh, the preview for his latest film and he looks he does look skinny but okay I should say it was more like Chris Evans as Steve Rogers that I fell in love with. Hi, Ralph's Trucking. It's so nice to see you here. I, I did notice you. I just wanted to finish my sentence. Carl Urban. Yeah, he's he's attractive. He's, he's an attractive man. Oh, let's see. Jason Momoa. Yes. Yes, Jason Momoa is... <laughs> Jason Momoa is definitely a hottie. Yes. <laughs> she like, pretty like him thick. Me too. Okay, Rasmin, we'll see you in a minute, hon. Oh, let's see. Or who else? <laughs> Poor Ralph's trucking. He comes. He comes in when when we start talking about all, all these hot movie stars. Ooh, he goes. Okay, Lori. Thank you so much. And I will see you soon. <laughs> um, Yano says he's in a new TV series called C. Different but interesting. Very nice. Oh, make sure you guys check each other out if you haven't already, but you probably have, because y'all are good like that. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting a little warm now. Oh, yeah, because the heat actually came on. And I'm actually wearing a bathrobe, which normally I don't, because I hate sleeves, but you yeah, have to sit up here and talk. <laughs> Our office here for the thirsty chat. <laughs> oh, Ralph's a nice guy. He's, he's, not, he's not a creeper like we had the other night. He, he's a decent chap. Oh, dang it, my little dollar store fan broke. <laughs> See, right there. It's okay. I have brush on nail glue, which is the handiest tool ever. Um, it's because nail glue and super glue are essentially the same product. So what I do is I just buy the brush on nail glue, you know, and it's like a nail polish bottle where you open it and it's got the little brush. I use that to fix everything that duct tape doesn't fix. So I'll be hitting this with a brush on nail glue in a bit because that makes me sad. And yes, I will fix a dollar store fan rather than buy another if it can be done because your girl is cheap. <laughs> I tried to snap my fan. How sad is that? That's what I wound up with. <laughs> I, I, I try to buy, uh, oh, and what drives me crazy, drives me absolutely out of my skull is when my husband says things like, oh, just get the cheapest blah, blah, blah they have. I'm just like, no, no, I'll buy one, you know, I'll buy it one, if at all humanly possible, I'll buy it once and never buy it again. <laughs> That's how I am, so. You know, he would say things like, get, you know, oh, get the cheapest, you know, toothbrush holder at Walmart and I'm like no no I'm gonna get the cute one it costs a little more and then it won't annoy the piss out of me because I won't look at it and say every time oh my god you are like just the, the ugliest cheapest thing I've ever seen because I'm fussy like that <laughs> okay so let's see the overarching subject of this live is supposed to be improvement so the only drama she watches anymore is Mr. Atheist. I love Ms. Mr. Atheist. Uh, Emily's bringing over the glue gun for Frida tomorrow. She could use nail glue. I'm all about the nail glue. Janine says she's overhearing about the same six people. Yeah, me too. But his drama and clapbacks are against hate speech, yes. I, I, I do very much enjoy Mr. Atheist. I've been getting back in, into Rachel Oates lately, too. Just, just like the last couple of days. Yeah, I watched her for quite some time, but then I didn't watch her for like a year. And now I've started watching her again. Um, but, you know, just, <laughs> just in 
drips and drabs. But yeah, I mean, I know he talks about a lot of the same people, but they earned it. You know, it, <laughs> 10 out of 10 would say, he seems like he'd be a really good cuddle too. Like you could get crazy and then he'd be a cuddler. Jenny's been, Jenny's been watching Myers-Briggs type channels. Oh, I haven't watched those. Um, I do watch some like history and documentary channels as well. Um, oh, I've, I've really been getting into the Foxhole and um, Illuminati, especially their anti-MLM con content. <laughs> those are so fun. Contrapoints. I haven't read Contrapoints. Yeah, nah. Oh, your toddler's demanding food. They are little tyrants, aren't they? Okay, yeah, nah. Thank you so much. And hopefully I will see you soon. I haven't filmed the video for tomorrow morning, so I think I might just go live instead. That would be probably around 9.30 in the morning, if I can remember to get up in time. I guess I want to try to stick to my schedule. Do I know my time? Um, I think it's one of the introverted ones, but I, it's one of those things where like I have it in an email somewhere. Oh no, look, another. <laughs> All right, later guy, later Yana, we'll see you soon, hon. Janine Buntain wants to do a broadcast on MLM. You should, you should. I, ha I haven't, but like I have some MLM products that I'm trying to use up. But I don't, um, but I don't promote them. Which reminds me, one of my friends gave me this little paint pot, which is, you know, from an MLM, so I'm not going to promote it. But I do intend to try to use it because I own it. And I've never tried a paint pot as a primer. You know, as an eyeshadow base, I've um, always just used the Urban Decay. So, yeah, I, that's what I should do. I should do a video comparing using using these two different types of primers. Um, Lyra Makeup Geek doesn't understand why they're, since they're pyramid schemes and how they don't get shit shut down. Um, it's because, because there are sales of a product involved. That's how they skirt around that. Um, it, because with the with the traditional pyramid schemes, with the illegal pyramid schemes, um, there's no pro there's no product, but um, it's a, you know it's all about just you know recruiting and getting people to send you money and that sort of thing. Um, so the workaround is to have a product. That's why Amway has products. You know Mary Kay, Avon, Lularo, you know Arbon, all those guys. They all sh you know they're all shilling products, but it's not really about selling the product as it is, you know, as it is about recruitment. And when you see, when you see signs, I mean, we used to see signs um, in cars all the time, you know, Mary Kay, Americans best selling, America's best selling brand. Yeah, but you know who buys Mary Kay? The consultants. How do I know this? I was one of them. I learned this the hard way. And for a long time, I I was even just, you know, first I sold it, and then I just did like the yearly order for myself. And then I just came to a point where I came across this website called The Pink Truth. And um, and I read, I, I read the entire website. And I decided from then I, I wasn't going to participate anymore. Um, yeah, and Frida still buys her Mary Kay and LuLaRoe. You're still buying LuLaRoe after you got stuck with that bunch, you know, with a big bunch of clothes. I know you're just trying to support your friends. That's cool. And I and I have LuLaRoe clothing because Frida sold it. And, you know, and I bought from some of her, you know, buddies. But yeah, Lu LuLaRoe is still in biz, but they're starting to get hit with some lawsuits. So, who, you know, we'll see what happens to them. But yeah, I but I've been learning about all of this, you know, all, all of the more recent things through the foxhole and Illuminati. And with Illuminati, it's I I, you know, Lumen and then N A U G H T I I. So yeah, it's it's 
I, I love both their channels. If you have a chance, check them out. Then the foxhole, I happened on like really, really small. Like, she was even smaller than I was when I happened across her and her channel was just blowing up, which I think is fantastic. Her personality is terrific and she just goes, goes through it. Um, yeah, so I, I am, I am going to compare, I think I'll do a video comparing how, you know, how eyeshadow works and wears with the two different types of primers. That could be fun for a future video. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm always looking for, for, you know, video ideas. Let's see. So Frida likes the products. Yeah. The buy-in was large. And, and apparently the newer, the more recent buy-in for LuLaRoe is a lot, um, a lot cheaper. You know, they can buy less now than they were before. But yeah, I mean, I still have my LuLaRoe clothes. Well, I got rid of a few things. But what I still have in general, I like, and I'll wear it. I don't expect to buy more anytime soon. But yeah, the, that large buy-in was wild. Um, but, let, but yeah, like with, with the Mary Kay, the buy-in wasn't so, so bad. And my mom actually bought my first, and you know, my mom bought my initial package. <laughs> Frida donated her stock to the domestic assault shelter. Win-win. And I hope you got a decent tax write-off. Or, oh, or were you actually able to write that off as, as a product loss? I think you would have gotten better tax benefit out of that, but I can't, I'm not sure if you're able to or not. But the fact that they changed their return policy was what really disgusted me. Because when Frida signed up, she was able to do you know, you'd be able to return like all of all of your product and get all or most of your money back. And now they change. That. Let's see. Janine's cousin did a, does Avon. Weird color, guys. My mom did Jaffra. I'm not familiar with that one. Jenny sees a lot of new LuLaRoe at, at thrift stores. Yeah, they talk about that too. Like there's this mythical hot dog shirt. <laughs> oh, you make too much to get much of a credit. Darn that husband and his good job. <laughs> I think if you use the stuff, then it's not bad since Mary Kay is expensive. Oh, yeah. And I I still have Mary Kay product that I'm going through. I I do. I, I have eyeshadows I still have and use. I have skincare I'm still using until I use it up. I don't plan to buy any more, but... I do plan to use up what I have because I'm not wasteful. The, come on. I am way too cheap for that. Jaffra? What is Jaffra? Who's a bastard? Jaffra? Can somebody explain to me what this is? I don't know what this is. I remember I got sucked into Amway slash Quickstar and I, I, I wound up... Um, and, and, and I, even when I signed up, it was because I wanted to personal, you know, for personal use for some things I wanted, but I was part of a class action suit apparently. And my settlement was, I got to choose some, some product categories. So I wound up with like a year's worth of laundry soap, which, you know, which was nice. Okay. So let's see. If Jenny never bought another makeup item, she'd be set. Yeah. Oh, your employed husband is a bastard for making too much. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> ah, it's it's good. It, it yeah, some financial security is a nice thing. Jaffra was a lot like Mary Kay. The big item they were pushing was the cream that contained royal jelly. Jaffra, nineteen seventies, eighties. Okay. I guess I missed that. When I actually, what got me into makeup in the first place was when I was a kid. From when I was a kid, my best friend's mom was an Avon lady, and so she, you know, she gave us a lot of the stuff, like a lot of like those little itty bitty teeny tiny lipsticks. I loved those. I still love those, and I and I love lipstick mini still. 
but you know, they're still not like the same as those little itty bitty ones. You get more use out of these. These aren't samples, these are actual lipsticks, but. <laughs> royal jelly from Peace. Yeah, is, is royal jelly supposed to have some sort of skin benefit that I haven't heard of? I thought it was just like a lubricant or something. You know, not a personal lubricant, but like a, a lubricant you use on like machine parts. Or am I mistaken? Oh, you got dragged to all the parties as a kid. Oh my gosh. I didn't get dragged to any of the parties, but uh, you have Bessemer minis. How, how do you like those? I was, is it like that mini set of four red lipsticks? I was, you know, I was looking at those. I was thinking of buying some. Do you... Oh, hi, Razin. Yeah, she remembers the little Avon lipsticks. Hey, Frida, do, do you have any of those Besame mini lipsticks you don't want? I've been wanting some. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm such a scrounger. Jenny remembers buying the kits out of Seventeen magazine. The kits for the um for the Jaffra, you mean? Oh. They don't stick to her inner lips. <laughs> More than four of them. Okay, well, I, I will be happy to test them. <laughs> I love how you put that, though, but I'm trying to remain family friendly. Even with these new compo requirements, it's like, you know, the, the best I've been able to determine is if your content is appears to be aimed at kids, targeted at kids, then you need to mark your then you need to mark your channel or your or the or the relevant videos as um as for children. Um which <laughs> which throttles your which kind of throttles it as far as advertising goes or which doesn't matter to me now because I'm not monetized. But um, that also the how the algorithm pushes the video. <laughs> you went on an online date. The dude took you to a quick start meeting and you got blocked. Oh, my God. That's terrible, Janine. Jenny says they're like subscription box kit. You canceled after the first box. Mini stuff. Um, YouTube's just scared because they got sued. Yeah, they did. They did, and they paid an enormous settlement, and I get it. You know, they, it's all, you know, it's all about collecting. Oh, um, Quickstar is what Amway changed their name to after the name Amway just, you know, had too much, uh, too much baggage attached to it. So they, they changed their name to Quickstar for a while, and it was like their online thing, like, oh, we're all modern and online, and, you know, we're Quickstar. Yeah, whatevs. Yeah, it's Amway under a new name. But, um, <laughs> yeah, it does kind of sound like Ipsy. Like Ipsy or um, or the Sephora Play subscription. <laughs> but, yeah, but with Kappa, so now I'm, so, like, I mark each video as not for kids, but I don't mark it, um, but I don't mark it as age-restricted. And I don't do that because age restriction, you know, age restricting your videos to over 18 also, you know, throttles you as far as appearing, you know, being pushed by the algorithm, being eligible for advertising, that sort of thing. So, um, so I, th that's why it's like, okay, I, I try to keep my videos family friendly and minimum of cussing, if at all. Most, most of my actual videos, I don't cuss. I slip a couple times in the lives, but you know, t tends to be further on. Yeah, the Paul brothers. Yes, thank you. the pa The Paul brothers really got start started getting the whole of YouTube negative attention. So thanks, guys. A holes. And you know, but with my channel, I'm not so worried about it because I figure. You know, any minors that do watch my, any of my videos are more likely than not to be over 13. Yeah, you know, I just don't see myself having a big draw with 
teenager, you know, with children, like actual children, children, I, I just don't see it. Not for my content. So I'm not worried, but I know a lot of gamers are worried. A lot of collectibles people are worried, like a, you know, doll collect, a lot of doll collectible channels are worried. A lot of um, like pop culture collectibles people are worried. Those people that, um, oh, like those people that do like, you know, that do Legos and stuff like that. You know, there are a lot of people who are really scared right now and I get it. I totally do. I don't really think it's going to affect my channel, but <laughs> Frida says, this is why we can't have nice things, Paul Brothers. Yeah, exactly. Thanks. Um, Lyra Makeup Geek says, true. Um, I just got upset when she was saying everyone was bullying James Charles. All the big ones do, obviously, is cater to a younger audience. Yeah. Bullying James Charles. You mean calling him out on his crap, which I've done too? Um, yeah. The Paul brothers need to take their share of the heat for this nonsense. But you know what? They're not. They're going to be just fine. It's the rest of us that have to deal with this. We need to start a squad for YouTubers that are 40 plus. There are a lot of us here. Who is James Charles? Okay. I don't know if you ever heard of the cover boy. He's this kid. kid and for his senior photo, he claimed to have brought a, a ring light to his, to his retakes to make his highlighter pop. In truth, he doctored his photos. But he got all kinds of attention for this. He got to go on the Ellen Show. Um, he became co the cover girl's first cover boy. And he became big on YouTube, uh, especially because um, Tati, Tati Westbrook pushed him a lot and her husband helped him with contracts. And now he just thinks he's invincible and he's and he's just been acting like an a-hole. Yeah, oh, you remember that kid. Yeah, he's not turning out well. He needs some serious adult guidance, and he's not taking it. Um, yeah, people have left because they're scared. Yeah, they have. They have. Royal Jelly helped your extremely dry skin. I didn't know it worked for dry skin. Thanks, weird collar guy. <laughs> you are also a model for crap. <laughs> yes, Janine is absolutely right. He had too much too soon. And and unfortunately for a lot of people, especially the drama channels now, a lot of them are starting to get hit with accusations of bullying. And, um, and the real problem is that not only is he super rich, but he's also like this with um, Susan whatever, who's the CEO of YouTube. She is the one who is in charge of YouTube and he is tight with her. And so now he's, um, his, his agenda is to bring down the drama channels, which are the ones that are calling people out on their nonsense. What's the cutoff? I don't know. Um, let's see. What do you think about people not having enough followers being closed? Um, yeah, I don't know if that's really how it's going to work out. I think it's more, you know, when they say not commercially viable, I really think that it's, yeah, applies more to dead, as Janine says, it applies to dead channels, no videos in years, they're not doing anything with it. And, and truthfully, like, I'm one of those people where like, I'm like, every so often I go through my my, cha you know, my subs the channels I'm subscribed to, and I'll go through. And if somebody hasn't posted in like two months, I usually unsubscribe because to me, it's a dead channel unless there's some sort of explanation. You know, like some people upload a, oh, I've got to take a break or, you know, something's going on. Okay, cool. I'll leave it for longer. Your friend said he just got a, an email. He just watches content. Is, um, oh, you mean as far as them deleting his account? I hope they don't delete his account. People just want, you know, some people just want to watch. But as far as, I mean, not everybody that has an account is going to have a channel. 
My goodness, I hope not. It'd be nice not to. <laughs> it'd be nice to have some people that just like to watch me <laughs> without having a channel. That's awesome. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, so as far as not commercially viable, I I really think if somebody has an account and they just don't have any videos up at all, I don't see why they would feel the need to delete the account. Let's see. Um, there is D Live. A lot of people are moving there. Really? I'm not familiar with this. D Live? Is that what it's called? Or do you mean like Discord? Um, I, I actually talked with my son about possibly helping me set up a Discord server and he... <laughs> And the way he explained it to me, it sounded kind of awful. It's like, oh, yeah, you'd have to set up like a server for, you know, like, you know, the 10 makeups I like most. <laughs> it was the way he put it. It was really funny. And I can't remember. So that was. Uh, <laughs> that was funny. Oh, it is Discord. DLive is, is on Discord. Is that like part of Discord or is that a different thing? I haven't. Um, done anything with Discord. I don't really care to do it, do much with Instagram. Like I'll post, you know, I'll post occasional things or try to promote my channel, but the, the Instagram format for me, I, I'm, you know, with those little short videos, um, I'm not really a fan. Oh, it's like Discord, but it's different. Okay. I'll look it up. I prefer the longer format of, of, um, of YouTube. Like with Instagram, the, the problem I have with it is, you know, all those little videos are just so dang short. DLive.TV. I'll look it up. And like TikTok is also a thing where just like, you know, the little short videos. I, you know, I've, I've, I've seen some TikTok videos and some of them are cute, but it's like a short attention span theater. It just reminds me of short attention span theater. And I prefer something longer, slower paced, like even in my videos, well, truthfully, I don't really know how to do jump cuts without making it look weird. And I don't really like jump cuts. I get it, but I don't really care for them. But I I don't have a problem leaving my pauses in. DLive is more for live videos. Okay. And I'm, I'm enjoying doing lives, but I also enjoy the editing process. Uh, so like, I wouldn't want to give up my pre-produced videos. <laughs> I haven't filmed any lately, but that's mostly because, you know, I'm home and all that stuff. Let's see. Um, Frida K says, PewDiePie, YouTube's most popular individual creator, is throwing his weight behind DLive, a live streaming video services that promises far better economic terms for creators than other major platforms. Huh. Like PewDiePie doesn't have enough money, but interesting. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe I'll see if I can do something on there at some point. Oh. <laughs> um, let's see, Lyra Make It Geek says she likes the live video go videos. I like not looking crazy, leaving lots of comments. I always forget what I wanted to say. <laughs> oh yeah, I usually go back in and edit my comment, but but the thing is, is on YouTube when you leave lots of comments. It really helps with the engagement. So please leave lots of comments, lots of comments. I definitely appreciate having comments. And, you know, like I like I respond and then if somebody responds back, it's even better for the engagement level. Like I, I really, really want the algorithm to push me. And in order to do that, you know, likes, you know, sub subscriptions, of course, likes, um, comments. Um, you know, that sort of thing, just things to to get the attention of the algorithm, to give it a hook to get me in would be awesome. Because <laughs> after <laughs> Janine says, I get it, Lyra, after a while, you start to feel like some stalker, some crazy stalker person. <laughs> it's OK. I don't mind. <laughs> I get the, I understand the feeling, though, I do. Um, but. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm, I'm definitely, you know, my, my goal for the year is definitely to 
improve my channel, grow my channel, that sort of thing. So not so much a not so much a New Year's resolution, but just an overall goal. I mean, Frida's the one who talked me into starting a YouTube channel in the first place. We were video chatting back and forth. What is my what is my goal? You mean as far as subscriber numbers? As far my goal my goal with YouTube now is to be able to make a living from it, let's say. And I'm not talking about like a Jeffree Star living, but but uh, you know, a a reasonable living out of it. You know, and for those who don't know, my husband is disabled, so you know, so they and while he does get social security, that's gonna go that's gonna go um, down significantly once the boy graduates from high school. And so really the res I consider the responsibility for um, you know the res responsibility for improving our circumstances is is going to lie with me. And so while so, you know certainly I'll you know, it's not like I'm not going to have jobs, you know, 50, oh, 50 K profit. I would say 50 K dollars or subscribers for subscribers. I'd probably, you know, for subscribers, you know, to get enough view time and all that, I'd say probably 500 K. I'm I'm not exactly sure because when you when you when you look at Social Blade and you look at the at some of the bigger and, and medium channels, oh, for dollars, probably uh probably I'd say take home take home probably a hundred. At, at least a hundred. I'd like I'd like to have I think I think a hundred would give us a reasonable standard of living especially just for the two of us. Of course, of course more would be better. <laughs> more would be more. <laughs> but I, I would say, I would say if I could, you know, if, if I could reasonably expect 100K a year, then, then it would be much easier for me to do this full time. Obviously, that's something that's, in the future, if not completely pie in the sky, we'll see. <laughs> I hope it's not pie in the sky. I hope I have a chance. I don't know. Yeah, especially with all the YouTube, with the changes YouTube's making as late as I started in this game. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's possible to come up to the point of, of being able to have this as my job you know, my occupation, especially without, especially without a uh, spot, you know, without a spouse who, who uh, can be expected to make a living. No, it wouldn't be pulled. It wouldn't be pulled. His disability does not um, rest on my income. They pull it if he starts making some real money for a significant length of time. Have I started watching Brian G. Johnson? I've been watching Brian G. Johnson for ages. Once he actually, um, once I actually got him to do a quick, um, a quick review of my channel in one of his lives, and and he had some he had some critiques, and I've been working on implementing them, like making my thumbnails more consistent. That was a big one. So I've really been working on making my thumbnails consistent. Um, and I'm probably going to redo my channel art at some point. I haven't had the chance yet, and I don't know what I'd replace it with. But definitely, the big, probably his biggest criticism was getting my thumbnails consistent. So I, I did that. Um, let's see. That popped up. There's still room. 40 plus is the largest growing demographic in YouTube. Yes. Oh, be the difference clothing. Night night all. Thank you so much, Joy. Make sure make sure everybody's checked her out. She's got a very positive ch positive channel. So, uh, you know, definitely you know, let's all let's all grow. But yeah, over 40. I know, I think so too. I think it's kind of like Facebook where it was initially for the kids and then the grown-ups took over. <laughs> 
So yes, we're going to take over YouTube and then it's not going to be cool for the kids. So then they'll go away and it won't be, <laughs> and then Kappa won't be an issue anymore and it'll just be for the grownups. <laughs> I think that would be good, right? We'll just keep it for the grownups. But um, yeah, it's been, when, when I started this, I actually didn't have any thought of making money from it. And then I started, you know, watching other people's channels and, and I, I came across Brian G. Johnson and Roberta Blake and, and those guys and started just kind of taking a look. And it's like, you know, maybe, maybe I can do something with this. You like Hot and Flashy and Dominique Sash. I don't watch either one of them, really. I've got, you know, I've kind of got my, my channels I watch. Um, I, most of the time, I mean, I will occasionally watch some of the bigger channels. But for the most part, I tend to stick with small channels. You know, part of it is for get, you know getting to know people, of course, and part of it is kind of okay. Well, this is this is my lane for now, so let me let me see how to improve in my lane. And then once I, you know, once I feel like I've improved enough in my lane, then maybe I'll go out of my lane. But I don't think I'm there yet. So that's that's uh that's something I'm working on, but I still occasionally watch my old videos and I do feel like I've improved a great deal. So hopefully there will be more improvement. <laughs> Just because we're grown up doesn't mean we stop growing, right kids? <sighs> Though I never outgrew this habit. I know. It's just a thing. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> Okay. So yeah, not sponsored by Diet Pepsi. My thighs keep growing. Yeah, me too. Oh my gut. My gut's starting to grow. Not thrilled with that. Is, oops, excuse me. Oh no, Lyra Makeup Geek. Good luck with what? Lyra Makeup Geek says she needs to go onto Fiverr and get a good intro. Sometimes it won't let me add my own thumbnail. It says it can't unload. I'm not very familiar with Fiverr. Oh, yeah, I mean... Um, it's like Craigslist, but for odd jobs. Oh, okay. My son says it's like Craigslist for odd jobs. So, I'm disclosed sponsorship. Yeah, I wish. No, I, I would disclose because I do not want to get in trouble with the FTC. <laughs> um, what about grabbing a couple affiliates to Hawk? I would love to love to get some affiliates. Um, I applied to Gerard, but they don't need anybody now, apparently. Um, grab them off Etsy. Yeah, that's actually, I think. Um, oh, you mean, oh, you mean grab affiliate codes off Etsy, like like team up with some Etsy people. I've been thinking about that. Um, I think I'm going to be working on that some probably after the new year. Everybody's pretty busy with the holidays right now. So I and I, I think a lot of it would also, you know, involve me at least buying some products to try from these brands before I like them. And so far I've only bought thing bought something from one Etsy brand. I'll probably do some more next year. So, you know, like I'll buy something, try it if I like it. Etsy, Amazon, Udemy. Yeah, thanks, Janine. Etsy, Amazon, Udemy. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm gonna work more on trying to, um, to get those kind of things going next year, which is not far. <laughs> it's only a few weeks away. Um, but I know like, you know, the holiday season is busy and I'm, and it's going to take some, some doing. So I, I want, I want to have their attention. Plus, um, I do actually have a PR package that I am testing. Yes. Free to make soap. So, you know, if y'all want to buy soap, buy soap from Frida. So I'm, I am testing something, but I had to, t I had to take a break from it because of the whole surgery and the, you know, not showering for several days at a time because it's as difficult as it's been. 
but I'm gonna go back into that, finish my testing, and then I'll uh, and then I'll upload a video on that. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea, Frida. You should make some soaps on your channel. Most of the, most of the time, are <laughs> most of her videos are from bed because <laughs> you know, because she's dealing with chronic illness. But yeah. Maybe on one of your more energetic days, you could do a soap making video. I think a lot of people would enjoy that. Um, but yeah, great ideas, Janine. And I think I'm going to go do that. Rasmin is going to go to bed. It's been fun. And of course, you're welcome here. Thank you so much. Oh, that'd be cute. For just says she'll do the soaps when, when they go to the cabin next they they have a they have a cabin as well as a house big views it's asmr done with me do one with music only yeah for, but for asmr don't don't you need to have a really good microphone in order to really make it work that's i've i've thought about doing asmr which reminds me if if anybody doesn't know there's a channel called for f beauty her name is angie and she has, she's English and she has a beautiful voice and she does her makeup videos as ASMR because her voice is just so calming and lovely. I have fallen asleep to her videos so many times. Like I'll actually use them when I want to go to sleep. But uh, so do check out 4F Beauty. She really needs more subscribers. She's so talented. Oh, I see. It's just considered the same category. <laughs> well, I hope to see you again soon, Rasmin. But I, I think it's, I think it's going to be great. I'm, I'm so happy with the way the chat's gone tonight. We've got new people in, and we're getting connections. I'm so happy with this! Yay! Oh boy. So, actually, looks like. So let's see what what else is popping. I can't stay too much longer because I have to pay. Um, <laughs> it'd be great to make it all the way to two hours, but I'm not sure if my bladder is going to. So I think I'm gonna call it good now. Um, so thank you everybody so much for watching and supporting the channel. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do, and you know check out each other's channels. Subscribe if you want to, and. I have to pee, <laughs> but I'll see you soon. I'm going to go live um, tomorrow morning about 930, I think, if I can make it. If not, then I'll have to do it a little later. But I am planning on going live tomorrow. I got to pee. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye.